markets basically flat for today's session and yesterday as well. That said, we have seen nine consecutive days of losses. Why do you think we're seeing such strong downward momentum? We are sitting at four-month lows. Well, that, that, that is largely because of uh, a lot of uh, capital raising uh, uh, not ventures, but uh, uh, initiatives. For example, you have uh, uh, Kenya Power and Lighting trying to raise about 9.5 billion. You've got Safaricom trying to raise 4.5 billion. We know we expect the government to come in to raise about between 10 to 15 billion through through a, a, a bond issuance. Then you've got others, other others like uh, Bralira, which which would be uh, at, attracting a couple of uh, local investors yeah. here, trying to raise about two billion Kenya shillings. You've got uh, uh, you've got uh, I and M Bank trying to raise two billion shillings. You've got Daycons trying to raise eight hundred million shillings. You've got you've got six hundred uh, CIC Insurance trying to raise six hundred million shillings. So. The, 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 that is taking its toll. Mm. So, to so Johnson, essentially what you're saying is that investors are liquidating their positions on the markets to try and get involved in these bond issuances and, of course, the rights issues that are currently on offer. Of course. And, and add, add, add that to add the real estate uh, in investments to that too. We've got quite a number of our clients telling us, well, we need to liquidate our positions. We've got this and that project we're trying to finance. So all that all that is taking its toll on the market. Mm. Now, and, and and not to mention it's a it's a season, so people are probably trying to get and yeah. uh, trying to liquidate the position as well, just to finance uh, their holiday. The, the, the two big uh, stories that are currently under the spotlight, KPLC rights issue, which started yesterday trading at around four shillings. Uh, yesterday, our market watcher said that uh, the uptake wasn't that great. So what are we looking at today? Has appetite started to increase? No, well, um, first of all, today uh, we saw rights issue trading, the, the rights trading at, uh, I mean, uh, at an average price of two shillings and 96 cents, but there are four million rights that traded. Uh, and and take into account that Kenyans are usually very last minute uh, because a lot of will, a lot of them will take a wait and see attitude. And uh, the other thing to take into account is that the, the 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 share price has since rallied. It's now at 24 shillings, 24 shillings 50. Um, and 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 uh, you expect the rights issue to track mm -hmm. to track that. The, that 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 shows there's some there's some. Um, uh, demand for the stock uh, and and that of course will is also uh, mean yeah. that there'll be also demand what about uh, Saf safaricom's bond sale uh, how is that faring well usually in kenya going by kenyan culture uh, by by the time the the the, the announcing the the, the 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 commencement of 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 the 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 event then you'll expect that they've got most of it taken up so you can expect that by the time that that is uh, the end of this week, they'll have firm commitments for at least four billion. Mm. Uh, the World Bank report I alluded to it earlier. Um, good growth coming through for 2010, uh, 2011, 5.3 percent. Mobile money transfers accounting for 20 percent of GDP. And we've just heard news that SR Telecoms and Equity Bank are going to be teaming up together uh, to further work uh, on this new initiative that most of the financial institutions and, of course, uh, the telecom sector are starting to embark on. Uh, SR Telecom subsequently has also said they're going to work further with other banks. Uh, they're talking about two more banks uh, getting involved. How do you see this playing out from an investment perspective, Johnson? Well, um, that well, you see, the, this is improving access to, to, to of, I mean, banking facilities to the to the lower end of the income pyramid, and uh, at the same time, you you also expect, uh, I mean, when 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 that happens, and and of course, uh, equity is able to to give in, instant loans through these facilities. You expect uh, in increased income in from from the increased lending available. Um, the, the 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 convergence between telecoms and uh, and uh, banking and uh, and and other banking delivery channels, not to mention the use of agencies who have been brought in through t these telecom companies, will ex uh, expand with the footprints of various banks uh, within just even within Kenya alone. Yeah. Uh, and 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 they may even be able to transfer the technology across the borders, and and this this should augur well for for returns for banks.